Hey, I'm Brittany DiOrio with your Local Lights TV Weekly Wrap-Up. And what a week it was. March kicked off fierce and strong with the opening of two highly anticipated and soon-to-be celeb hotspots that brought out the stars in Las Vegas socialites. Kim Kardashian, alongside 13-year-old sister Kylie Jenner, hit the red carpet for the grand opening of the Sugar Factory American at the Paris Hotel. Dressed in a sexy Gucci shirt and blouse, rocking Christian Louboutin shoes and a YSL clutch, Kardashian helped kick off the opening in true Kardashian style. The popular brand and 15,000 square foot dining area gives guests a Willy Wonka meets the trend-sending styles of MTV. And not too far away from the sweet taste of the sugar factory, actually just a few steps away, Vegas welcomed another mega club to hit the list of places to party, pop bottles, and catch some of the world's top DJs. The star-studded opening of Chateau Nightclub and Gardens, also at the Paris, brought out some of Hollywood's A-listers, including Kim Kardashian, Drake, Paris Hilton, Holly Madison, and David Arquette, just to name a few. Guests are welcome to the 40,000 square foot venue by a wrought iron staircase with chic French architecture. Chateau will offer a full nightclub experience. Celebs spent the night partying into the early morning. And who knows better about partying into the wee hours of the morning than top international DJ Tiesto. Tiesto continued his 2011 residency here in Sin City at one of Las Vegas' trendiest spots. Vanessa Hudgens, along with a few other celebs, were spotted at joint in the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, where Tiesto spinned, trance, and electro beats to a crowd of over 2,000 fans. If you missed him this month, don't worry. He is scheduled to play here in Las Vegas once a month through 2011. Caesars Palace announced that Celine Dion will be hitting the stage once again at the Coliseum. The announcement was big news for both the venue and fans alike. The Grammy Award-winning artist took the stage for the first time Tuesday, kicking off the start of her three-year residency. And as things are heating up on the stage, so is the weather outside, and you know what that means, aside from hot bods and sexy ladies in bathing suits. Spring is here. Thousands of college kids packed the Palms pool for the official Spring Break Bash, which took place March 6th through the 9th. The Palms pool and MTV Spring Break Bash was just the start of pool season. Wet Republic at MGM and Bear also kicked off their pool season with jam-packed parties in the sun. Vegas is not only playing home to spring break, but also to the cast of MTV's Real World 25th season, which was shot at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino right here in Las Vegas. Also making a comeback to Las Vegas this week was the annual nightclub and bar convention and trade show. Thousands of vendors and suppliers packed the Las Vegas Convention Center by day, pitching and selling ideas to nightclub and bar owners. Once the sun went down, the real party started. Marquee, Pierre, and Hayes nightclubs all played host to industry's leaders. Performers such as 3-6 Mafia were also seen taking center stage and what better person to help with the ribbon cutting at this year's convention than the man himself, the situation from the Jersey Shore. And finally, it's a bittersweet ending to a piece of Las Vegas history after 59 years. The Sahara Hotel and Casino is shutting its doors. The final call for the hotel will be May 16th. SBE Entertainment Group, the owners of the Sahara, have decided to close after low profit earnings the past few years. And that's your weekly wrap-up. I'm Brittany DiOrio with Localites TV.